What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here. And this is another Division 2 video. Now shout out to DoD Disciples of Doom and let's jump into it. In today's Division 2 video, I'm going to give you the countdown mechanics made simple. I have had this requested by multiple people, content creators, and everything alike. People want to know exactly what's going on in countdown how to play countdown how to maneuver in countdown and what should be the overall mechanics that you should follow within countdown so i'm going to jump into all of that i'm going to give you all of the juicy details and everything you need to know and i even have slides to show you do some pointy talky that way it helps you understand what's going on so sit back relax grab that popcorn don't forget to hit that like subscribe to the channel we are making our way to 44,000 subscribers thank you guys so much for the ongoing support we have already hit over 10.1 million views now and it's just getting higher so thank you guys so much and don't forget to ring that notification bell that way you get every single one of my division uh, uploads. I do upload videos every single day, so stay tuned for the next video. And then finally, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is very important, and this video is to help the community, help be, you know, help everyone and be as informative as possible. Because I know, just like you guys do, that you'll find a countdown group, and some people just don't know where to go, don't know what to do, and it's okay, it is new. But we need to establish some sort of mechanics baseline that we can all follow together. That way, whenever we're in a random group, we're able to, you know, do what we need to do, you know, do it efficiently, effectively, and extract together with everybody. Because there are a lot of people that they'll just every man for themselves and they'll end up dying 52 times until you extract and then they'll come join you for extraction. They'll pop the extraction too early, and then everyone gets pissed off, and it's just like this weird like snowball effect. So in this video, I hope to be informative and helpful, get everyone on that same baseline, and then we can enjoy the content together. So yeah, hit that like, support the channel. All right, so we're gonna start off by going over to Twitter, because I posted this bad mamma jamma um, just a few minutes ago. Now, here is my Twitter page. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitter at Kamikaze Von Doom. I release news updates, breaking news updates, conversations with me and the developers, um, content, and everything in between on this Twitter uh, page. I only deal with Division-related stuff on this page. It is dedicated only to the Division universe. So if you're interested in that, follow me on Twitter. You'll get all this stuff immediately. And then you can just see me explain it later on in a YouTube video. But um, besides that, you guys can see I'm over 10.1 million views, 43.1K subs, and we have hit over 2,200 followers on Twitter. So if you haven't already, hit me up on Twitter. Okay. Now that we are done with the shameless plugs, here we are. Here is my latest post. It was just about an hour ago that I posted this. So this one on the right is actually a phone screensaver that you can save on your phone. It's pretty dope. And this shows uh, Countdown. This is a very um, simple image. It just shows you, you know, the outlines. It shows you the different extraction points and then where the hunters are. Nothing else really. I mean, it gives you the overall layout of the different buildings, but that's about it. So let's get out of there. And let's go to this first image because this image is super helpful. This image is super helpful. Now looking at this, you can see it gives you the hunter locations, armor kit locations, grenade and ammo locations, the countermeasure terminals, respawn points, the supply chest, and the black supply chest. Remember the black supply chest, those are your like normal loot. And then the actual supply chest itself is the big orange box that you would notice. Um, it's the same thing as like a uh, control point supply cache. Same thing. Whenever you take over a control point, you'll be able to open up that supply crate and same thing. Now, you can see by the green lines that these are all the different uh, ways you can go in and out of a building. So there's only so many entrances and exits. 
So just remember that. All of these green lines, these are the different paths you can take to each location. Now, whew, let me catch my breath because this is going to be a lot of explaining. So I hope you guys understand you can save this. If you go to my Twitter, you can actually save this on your phone or computer or whatever, and you can look at it and you know try to uh, understand Countdown even more. But hopefully I can explain it um, in this video. So starting off with entering Countdown. So when you enter Countdown, you have two different subgroups. Now you have subgroup one and subgroup two. Now each subgroup will start the mission in different locations. And that are, uh, that are these uh, different extraction points right here. So say subgroup one starts the game at Alpha and subgroup two starts the game at Bravo. Then that tells you that you will then extract at the end of the game at Charlie. Now, same thing applies. If subgroup one starts at Charlie, subgroup two starts at Bravo, you guys are all gonna end up extracting at Alpha, so on and so forth. It's basically just process of elimination. So, you know, oh, okay, we just spawned at Bravo, they just spawned at, uh, we just spawned at Alpha, they just spawned at Bravo, so we know we're going to extract at Charlie later. And that just kind of gets your head ready for, okay, we're going to have to run all the way across the map to extract whenever we're done. Now, what I would do, and this is just purely me, I'm going to go off of each of these um, infill locations. Because I know they say extraction points, but they're also infill locations because where you extract from the helicopter, it's the same spot where the helicopter brings you into the mission to start the game. So with that being said, let's start with Alpha. So if you and your team start at extraction point Alpha, I would tell you and your team to run to this hunter location right here to the right. You would, you would run past the reactor and then right around the corner would be your first hunter. You would take out that hunter as a group, take over this terminal, and then go to either admin, reactor, or lab laboratory, because one of those are gonna be active for a encounter. Remember that you have to complete two out of the three encounters before it unlocks the main objective. So again, if you are in subgroup one or whatever, and you infill at alpha, run to this hunter, take him out, take over that countermeasure terminal, and then go to either admin, reactor, or laboratory and start your encounter. Now the reason for this is that subgroup two is gonna start off at Bravo or Charlie. So let's take Bravo for example. If subgroup two is at Bravo, they are going to go, they are going to take out this hunter, they are going to uh, take out that terminal, then they're going to go to this hunter and take out that terminal. Once they do that, all of those countermeasure terminals are now green. Now let's talk about the countermeasure terminals. So you can see right here it says, you know, red dot countermeasure terminal. So all of these are going to be red on your screen. And every time you start countdown, they are going to have different buffs and debuffs. If the countermeasure is red, that means they are buffing the enemy with whatever type of buff it is. Now, once you take over that terminal and make that from red to green, it will then buff you and your allies. Um, for example, some examples would be close range damage, long range damage, status effects, skill damage, uh, cooldowns, um, hazard resistance, things like that. And every time you enter the game, as soon as you spawn, you can open up your map and you can hover over each of these terminals and it will tell you what kind of buff or debuff it is. If these are all buffs that you don't give a shit about, then you don't have to take them over. However, you should. Everyone should work on taking out the terminals first because it's going to make your game immensely easier. It's going to make it so much easier because just think about that. If you get close range, long range, and skill damage buffs, all of a sudden you're hitting the enemies for double what you normally would and your skills are taking them out too. It just makes everything a lot quicker, a lot faster. Um, so these are going to be my different types of 
you know, mechanic strategies. So again, if you start off at alpha, go to the right side of the reactor, take out this hunter, take out the terminal, and then either go to admin, reactor, or laboratory and start your encounter. If you are at Bravo, take out the first hunter and terminal, then go over to the other hunter in terminal and take those out. Now, just note, there are three hunter locations right here. So you have to be careful and work as a team where the first subgroup, they are only taking out one hunter and one terminal. You are taking with subgroup two, three hunters and two terminals. Now, once you are done with these three hunters and two terminals, subgroup one is gonna be at one of these locations doing an encounter. And then your team is either gonna to go to turbine, containment, or cooling tower. So you're splitting the map in half. So imagine this is me splitting the map in half, just like this, okay? So subgroup one is gonna be on the left side and subgroup two is gonna be on the right side. Now, once they are done with their first encounter, they can either come over to you and help you with your encounter or they can go to the optional third encounter. Because remember, you can do up to three encounters and then a main objective. Now, if you do two encounters, you can go straight to that main objective and then extract. However, if you want more loot, you can do three objectives or three encounters and then do that main objective. I understand that this is a lot. It's like a fire hose of information. So I'm trying to break it down as easy as possible. And then I'll show you in the game what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, there are three different um, loot boxes in each of these areas. Now, they will be the black supply chest. Out of the three locations, only one per location will be unlocked. So no matter what, you can go to any of these locations and you can find a black loot box that you can open up and get gear. Now, to unlock the supply chest, you have to complete the main objective. Now, once you do that, it'll say supply crate unlocked, and you'll be able to get that loot. However, the black supply chests are unlocked all of the time. You just have to find them. And with this, you can see all the different locations, and you can figure out, you know, which one to loot. All right. So, you, you have your different spawn points. Now let's talk about the Charlie, because I haven't talked about Charlie. So if you spawn at Charlie, and you have a team that's at Alpha, right? Um, a lot of times, people will just run from Charlie and take out this hunter with Alpha. I would say do not do that. Let Alpha take out their hunter. It's what they're supposed to do. If you're at Charlie, you can jump straight to this hunter right here, take out that terminal, and then take out the three hunters and get that last terminal and then you're splitting the map in half again, if you understand what I'm saying. So Charlie would go straight for these three hunters, Bravo would go to these three hunters, and Alpha will take out the one hunter. After that, it splits the map in half, and then Alpha has Reactor Admin Lab, and Bravo or Charlie has Cooling Tower, Containment, and Turbine. Now once Alpha, Bravo, or Charlie, whatever subgroup you're in, once you fin finish your first encounter, you can then choose as a group to either help the other subgroup with their encounter or work on that third optional encounter. I would typically go and help the other subgroup because if you're running around as an eight man, you can take out these encounters within a couple minutes tops because then you have eight people shooting everything. It, it's really quick. Um, and then once you do that, you unlock the main objective, and then you're good to go. Go go extract. You're gone. All right. I hope I explained that correctly in layman's terms for everybody. Now, again, if you want this, it is on my Twitter page. I just posted it. It's now been an hour, and you can uh, get this in-depth um, guide and a phone screensaver. Okay. Let's go back to the game. All right. Yeah, of course it kicked me out. I've been explaining that for a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in a uh, countdown game, and then I'll explain exactly what's going on. Because it looks a little bit different 
in the game than it does on that piece of paper. Now, I don't know if you know this, but you can start a countdown game by yourself. So I'm going to do that. That way I can just explain what's going on. Let's go over here to the helicopter. Countdown, create countdown, and start countdown. Yep. All right. So that's about to start. Now, if you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up. Support the channel. It really does help me out, and I am doing this for the community to help everybody out. I've been uh, getting requests about this time and time again, so I want to break this down and get everyone on the same page. That way they know what to do. All right, so now we're starting countdown, and I'm going to be the only one spawning. So I'm going to either spawn at Alpha, Bravo, or Charlie. Now, right here, you can see I'm spawning at Alpha. This is the top of the map, and I'm right next to the reactor. So we already know I'm at Alpha. Now, Alpha would go to that one hunter. We need to get control of the experimental reactor. So let me, uh, come on, pull me up. Okay, so now we're here. Reactor unstable. And you can see, now I'm at the top of the map, like I was showing you. And I'm at Alpha. Now here's Charlie, and here's Bravo. Now because I'm at Alpha, I would take out this hunter and take out this terminal. Now you can see this terminal, it says agent skill will do 25% more damage. So this is a skill damage buff. This middle one right here, it says um, close range. So enemies within 15 meters, you do 75% more damage. And then this last one is hazard resistance, which is huge because if you do not take that over, those enemies are gonna be resistant to all of your hazard, uh, all of your status effects. So if you're running a skill build or a Scorpio, you can't really do anything about it until you take over this terminal. And then same with this terminal, if you don't take that one over and enemies are close to you, they're gonna do 75% more damage, that's huge. And then with this one, agent skills, that applies to the enemies as well. So if a hunter throws out a skill, it's going to do 25% more damage to you than it already does. That's pretty damn crazy. Now, you can also see the three locations that are um, available for the encounters. So we have a protect the VIP and admin. We have shade crates in the reactor. And then we have secure the area in the turbine. Now remember, the way I like to do it is I like to cut this map in half, just like this. The only difference is, is that the other subgroups, either at Bravo or Charlie, would take out these two hunters, and then they would go to turbine, where right here, my subgroup would take out this hunter and hit admin. Now you can already see that lab is going to be your main objective just based off of the image um it's got the uh, pentagon shape and it says right there core objective locked you cannot unlock this until you do two out of the three encounters so in a normal world i would have subgroup one take out this hunter take out admin and then get ready for lab I would have subgroup two take out these two hunters, go to turbine because turbine is secure the area. And that's a lot quicker than shade crates. Now there is a way around it. So I'm gonna show you if you wanna get the most bang out of your buck. Say, say you're elite and you wanna do this like a pro, okay? So subgroup one, take out the hunter, take out admin. Subgroup two, take out the two hunters and then take out turbine. When both of you are done, meet up at reactor you would meet up at reactor because one subgroup can do one shade crate and the other subgroup can do the other shade crate and knock that one out really quick once you do that it will unlock laboratory you'll knock that out and then extract right here at charlie pretty simple that way you take out all of the encounters and then you take out the main objective extract game over really simple okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back out of this. I'm gonna start another one and see if it brings me to a different location. That way I can explain it again. But I'm pretty sure everyone is starting to understand the mechanics of Countdown. It's pretty simple. You only have three different areas that you can spawn into and extract out of. 
So if both of you are spawned into two of them, you're, you know you're going to extract out of that third one. So let's uh, do this again. It might just put me at alpha again, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be uh, randomly generated. So we'll see how random it really is. Uh-oh. What's up, G Diddy? How you doing, man? This, this guy ran up the stairs pretty quick. All right, so now we're going to start another countdown, and then I'll explain this one last time. Now, I hope uh, everyone is understanding uh, what I'm explaining. And if not, oh, okay, cool. So we are, we're at a different location. Uh, this is uh, Charlie. Okay, so now we're at uh, Extraction Point Charlie. So this is pretty cool. I was uh, hoping we would go to a different location. This is good. Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Okay. So this one is pretty tricky. Now, you're at... Oh, no, I'm at Bravo. Nice. Okay. So remember, we started at Alpha, and now this one is Bravo. Now, this one's going to be a little tricky. Because I'm at Bravo, I would take out these two hunters, and then I would probably take out Reactor. Protect the VIP. Where the other team is going to start at Alpha, they would take out this hunter, and then take out Laboratory. Reason being is these two are the closest to admin, and you can see admin is that core objective. So once we finish these two, it would unlock the main objective and you're closest to it. You don't want to do containment because containment would make you run all the way across the map to go to admin. And remember that this is all timed. You only have 15 minutes to complete it. So the faster you can do this, the better. And if you do it really quick, you would be able to do that third encounter. But I would probably stay away from this one just because it's going to be so far away from all of the action. So for me, what I would do is right here, I know that the hunter is going to be up here in front of me. So let me run over here. I'm not going to engage. I'm just going to show you how I would do this. So have your team follow you over here, and you can see the first terminal right there. So I'm going to stop here so I don't alert the hunter. Now you can see I'm already right here next to containment. This is why I'm going to say do not go to containment, because you have to take out this terminal, that hunter, the second hunter, and then the third hunter just to get to the next terminal. And then once you finish that terminal, you're right next to a reactor. So then just take that out where the other subgroup would hit this one hunter and then run down to laboratory and take that out. And then once you guys are done, meet up at admin, finish that, and then extract at Charlie. Everything is really close together. You can see that if I split the map in half, everyone's going to be on that same half of the map. Pretty simple, right? So there's no real sense of running all the way back to containment to then run all the way back to admin if that makes sense. Now, if you have enough time and you're rocking with some real badasses, then obviously you could run back here, take out containment, and then go back to admin. But I would do this terminal, take out the three hunters, take out that terminal, and then go to reactor, where the other team would take out this terminal and then go to laboratory. And then when you guys are both done, meet up at admin, and then you're done. Pretty simple. Now let's look at the uh, terminals. So for this one, this is uh, skill cooldowns. Okay, not too bad. This one is close range, so that one's pretty important. And this one is skill resistance. Um, agent skills deal more damage. Okay, so these are both skill related. So if everyone's running like DPS or tank builds, you really don't need to take out these terminals. Um, you could work as a team and then just take out the one terminal with the close range damage and then go to town. But the way I like to do it is I like to take out all of the hunters because all of the hunters will drop named gear every time you kill a hunter. Every single hunter that dies will drop you a named item every time. It's a randomly generated named item, but it's every single time. It's pretty dope. So that's why I love to do the hunters first get all of your buffs out of the way, and then take out your encounters. As soon as you're done with that, take out your main objective, and then extract. Pretty simple. 
All right, let's see how fast this hunter can kill me. Come on, hunter. I'm running my P System. PvP build. Yeah, let me shoot him with my uh, snowball gun. <laughs> Yo, I just confused him with my snowball gun. <laughs> It's all good. I'm not even trying to do anything. All right. So that's it, everyone. Um, I really hope that you uh, understand the way that I'm explaining the mechanics. It's pretty simple. Um, you're basically splitting the map in half, and you're, um, what, what's it called? You're, you're spreading out your guys to conquer the entire world. Um, it's pretty damn legit. But all right. I'm going to get out of here. Oh, the NPC is not wearing that cool weapon. Let's see if this one is. You guys know the uh, little bug right now going on with the texture of the NPC's weapons? Okay, those two are normal. Um, they look pretty crazy. It's almost like this like weird tie-dye abstract looking shit. I don't know. Now, don't forget, after you're done with Countdown, you can come over here to the Countdown vendor and you can spend your credits. And then remember, it only takes 20 duplicates to become proficient in all of this gear. So right here, I need two more strategic alignments to become proficient, and I have enough to buy one of them, so now I just need one more, and I can become proficient in that backpack. But all right, everybody, I hope this helps you. Uh, let me know if it does or doesn't. And uh, while you're at it, hit that like and subscribe for more content. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace. All right, let's go uh, play some PvP. I'm going to use uh, my spotter build. Where's it at? There we go. All right. Let's go. Let's go mess some people up.